Hi. Welcome to Power Life Live. This is Power Bar. I'm Abby. I'm so glad you guys are all taking time on your mat today. Um, we will get going right away. First things first, this playlist is called Power Bar with Abby. Um, and we can start it at the same time if you'd like to follow along with the playlist I made for this class. Otherwise, any music's good. Um, you will need one weight or whatever you're using in place of a weight, cans of LaCroix, wine, um, whatever you have in your house. Uh, you can set it up near your chair, which will be your bar. So you'll need a chair just for balance today as well. Um, something to set your hand on and a mat and you and a good attitude. That's all you need today. And we will get started. I'll start the playlist in three, two, one, go. Okay. So we will start in happy baby because we're just a bunch of happy babies and we're really good at just like laying around right now. Ooh, playlist, come on, what you doing, what you doing? Oh, there we go, okay. So come to your back, find happy baby pose, reach for the backs of your legs, it can be right behind your thighs, maybe your calves, ankles, toes, and then just find a little rock side to side. Iron out your low back a little bit. I like to kick my feet into my hands flex my toes, and then you can start to even stretch one leg toward the ceiling and then the other just to warm up through your hamstrings a little bit. Take one more breath in here. Exhale, supine twist, just nice and gentle. Let your knees fall off to the left side. No need to overthink it. Let gravity sort of take over. Keep your upper body connected to the mat. Take an exhale here. Inhale, bring your knees through center and exhale, let them fall to the other side. Start to warm up through your spine as you stack one hip on top of the other, let your upper body relax. Take an exhale here. Inhale, bring your knees back into center. We'll move right into core for hip drops. Inhale, lift your hips up. Exhale, let both knees drop to the left. Inhale, lift. Exhale, drop to the right. So like, you know, the worst hardest supine twist ever, over and over. Think about your obliques. So as you lift your hips up, use your obliques to let your hips drop to the other side. Keep it up here. Keep your upper body connected to the mat. So as you let your hips drop every single time, keep your shoulders connected, but lift both hips up. Then as you drop from side to side, use your obliques to control so that you have control as you lift on the way up. Good, flex your toes, start to feel your body warm up through the midsection. We'll meet in bow pose in three. Rock on up, in two. Last one, rock up to boat pose, stay and breathe. Find your weight in your sits bones, flex your toes back toward your shins. I like to reach my palms forward and find a nice broad chest and a flat back. Lean back just enough so you start to feel a shake and a warm through your core. Low to high boat. Inhale, low boat extend. Exhale, squeeze and lift. Draw your knees in. Inhale, low boat. Exhale, high boat. Take this slow and control. Let your breath guide the movement. Keep your toes flexed. Oh, forgot to start my watch. Got to do that every single time, you know? We don't want these workouts to go undocumented here. Good. Keep your toes flexed back toward your face. Exhales to lift. Hold in your low boat in four. Great job, keep it up. Last three, two, last one. Hold in your low bow, hollow rocks. Reach your arms up overhead, rock back. Rock up onto your sits bones, rock back, rock up. It's only a couple inches in either direction. Lift your hips up, lift your shoulders up. Lift your hips, lift your shoulders. Good, you should be starting to feel the burn right about now. Keep your toes flexed. Your core will be nice and tight as we move through here. Switching to sprinters, then we're done with core, basically, in three, two, last one, reach, opposite elbow, opposite knee, inhale, reach, exhale, twist, come in through the center, inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist at the top, meet in the middle, so if you can keep your opposite foot at a hover as you tap your elbow to your knee, even better, you'll get more engagement through your core. Keep your upper body active as well, so reach long and then tap in the center. Take two more on each side. You got this. Then we're rolling onto your right hip. Into last one. Keep on rolling. Roll onto your right hip. Set up for seated pretzel. So in bar, this looks similar to how you would start sleeping swan. Bring your right knee out in front of you. Your left foot wraps behind you like so. Lean forward into your right hip. 
And start with a single leg lift in the back for pretzel. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Inhale, lower your whole leg. Exhale, lift it up. Point your toes on your back leg and shift your weight forward into your right hip. Whole right outside hip bone is where your weight is so that you can squeeze your glute to lift your leg up behind you. You can even bring your hand to your butt. Yeah, grab your own butt and feel it work here. Squeeze your glute to lift you up. You'll feel this in that meaty spot. Our teacher Summer loves to call that your muscle top. I call it muffin top. I call it what it is, right? That's the area we're targeting here as well. Deep upper glutes. Keep your shin parallel every time you lift up at the top. It's a small movement, but we feel the work happening there. Try to spider tip your fingers out in front of you just so you stay nice and light for your upper half. Hold at the top in three. Last two. Last one. Hold up at the top. Extend and bend. Kick and extend your leg. Scoop heel towards your glute. Inhale, extend, exhale, curl. Almost like a hamstring curl. Inhale, straight, stretch, exhale, curl in. I'm gonna try and do this whole thing with you. I'm already out of breath and my glute is already singing. Anybody else? I hope so. I'll take silence as acceptance. Keep it up. Try to use your glute and hamstring as well as your muscle top here to lift. Hold it at the bend in three. Last two. Last one, hold it at the top, take a wrap. So just point your toes back, point back, point back. Squeeze your glute like you're wrapping your left knee around a tree right behind you here. Still have your weight in your right hip, your fingertips out in front of you. Keep your chest nice and tall. Wrap, 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 point in, make it sharp. Here's four. We'll combo with a one inch lift in three, two, last one. So lift, wrap. Lift, wrap, lift, wrap. Woo! Okay, we're almost done here. Stay for four. Come into mountain climbers towards your bar in three, two, last one. Just keep rolling on into plank. Start with slow mountain climbers. Draw your right knee in and then your left. Woo! Feels good to stretch through your glute as you pull your knee into your chest. Stack your shoulders over your wrists. Hug your core in tight. Full mountain climbers in three, two, Last one, go fast, go fast. Get your knees up and into your chest. Drop your hips nice and low in line with your shoulders. You've got this. Keep your gaze right in between your hands. Pick a pace that challenges you. So if you can get your knees up fast, get them up fast. Come on, you got it. Booty nice and low in line with your shoulders. 10 more seconds. Maybe you make it cross body. You wanna get your obliques involved. Woo, last five, four, come on, three, two, Last one, from plank, just lower right on down to your left hip. We'll set up for pretzel on the other side, but I'm gonna face you. So other leg in front this time, bring your left knee out in front, swing your right leg out behind you. Bring your weight into your left hip, spider tip your fingers, one inch lifts with your back leg. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift, inhale down, exhale, squeeze up. Damn, you know, teaching bar alone in a room by myself, 10 times harder. So you're at home, you're alone, but not really, right? I'm right here in it with you. There's probably how many other people watching this as well. Just imagine you're surrounded by all your friends as you do this hellish work of lifting your leg one inch off the floor. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Again, target your glute muscle. Bring your hand to your butt cheek. Feel it work as you squeeze up. Muscle top on this side as well means just as much love. Come on, hold at the top in three. Bend and extend in two. Last one, hold it long, extend and bend. Exhale, kick, inhale, bend. Bring your heel in towards your glute. Again, as you shift your weight a little bit more forward into your left hip, keep engagement through your right leg. Woo! Come on, nice and light through your fingertips here. Hug your core in. Last three, wrap in two. Last one, keep the knee bent, wrap back. Press straight back. So just to give you another visual of how pretty this actually looks, this is all you're doing is just pointing your toes straight back toward your left heel, or your left heel, your left hip. Keep it lifted like your leg is hovering right over top of the mat. Squeeze your glute to do it. We'll combo with a one inch lift in three, Woo, two. Come on, last one, one inch lift and wrap, lift, wrap, lift, wrap, it's subtle. It's subtle, that doesn't mean it's not burning though, yes? Come on, last three, Woo. two, 
Last one. Oh man, keep on rolling. Back to plank, please. Back to plank, right to slow mountain climbers once again. Exhale, draw your knees in. Inhale, bring them back through plank pose. Start to warm through your upper body. Stack your shoulders over your wrists. Flex your toes. Full mountain climbers in three, two, one, go. Only side of these left, right? We only do two, so get them in good. Get your knees straight up and into your chest. Keep your booty low in line with your shoulders. Little micro bend through your elbows. Hug your core in nice and tight. Come on, come on, 10 seconds. Full sprint pace, I know you got this. Come on, last five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, high plank, don't miss it. Exhale, downward facing dog. Woo! Okay, find a little movement in down dog. Start to stretch through the backs of your legs. Feel the stretch of your hamstrings and your glutes as you spread your fingers wide. Keep your hips lifted high and back. Take a breath in and let it go. One more, inhale, fill up here. Exhale, sigh it out. Inhale, gaze back at your feet toward your chair. Exhale, walk your hands to meet your feet. Spin on open, grab your weight, right side body to your chair. Open up to second position, plie with a server. Inhale, second position, reach your arm out. Exhale, squeeze and press back. Inhale, plie. Exhale, squeeze back. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Good, ground in through your heels for now. We'll get to your calves later. For now, ground in through your heels, lift your toes up off the mat. Every time you sit low in second position, press your knees over your toes. For your server, Think about using your bicep to reach the weight out in front, and then your back body as you squeeze your elbow back behind you. It should feel kind of good, right? It's a big movement. Start to warm up through your quads, your hips. Squeeze your glutes at the top of your second position plie. And notice you don't need to reach your weight too high as you bring it out in front. Just enough to feel a squeeze through your bicep, and then through your back as you draw your elbow straight back behind you. Looking good, you guys. We'll take mid-range in three. Last two. Last one, come to the bottom. Just lift an inch and lower an inch. Lift and lower. Woo! Now you can take this as you lift both your legs or straighten your legs, you lift your arm or you can switch it. And as you sit low, reach your weight out and then squeeze back. That's how I like to do it. I feel a little more hinge in this movement. But mid-range sucks. It's that place where you just don't want to sit. It's not, you never get to straighten your legs and you never live at the bottom where you can start to go into autopilot, right? So keep everything nice and engaged. So strong here. Draw your heels in toward one another. Last three. Pulses at the bottom. In two. Last one, just pulse. Just pulse. Get your weight out in front of you. Make your bicep do a little work. Ground in through your heels. Control this pulse. Make it less of a bounce. Woo! Second to attitude in three, two, last one. Bring your weight to heart center just to transition. Second position, attitude front leg lift. Inhale second, exhale lift. Inhale second position plie, exhale lift your outside leg in front. So a couple things on attitude, keep it up here. Turn your toes out to 45 degrees. So you work your inner thigh here. If you just Lift your legs straight up and down with a bend. All you're gonna do is burn out your hip flexor. We're targeting inner thigh. So point your toes and scoop your low core up and in so your tailbone's even slightly forward. Micro bend through your knee. Imagine you're resting your favorite beverage. I'm sure we all have a new one right now during quarantine. On your shin or calf on the inside. Hold up an attitude in three. Last two. Last one, hold up an attitude, W bicep curl, inhale lower, exhale lift, inhale lower down, exhale squeeze up. Find a little micro bend through your standing leg. I like releve here, just cause, just to challenge you, come up onto the ball of your foot, lift your heel up off the floor, keep a little micro bend still through your standing leg so that your standing leg is still working. I want your quad engaged. So turn your toes even out just slightly on your standing leg as well. Yes. Woohoo! We'll add a leg, bend and extend in three on the front leg. Two, can plant your heel if you like. As you lower the weight, extend your leg, exhale, curl and bend. Just 45 degrees, extend and bend. 
Inhale, lower and extend. Exhale, squeeze and lift it. The beautiful thing about bars, everything's so subtle, right? These are really tiny movements, but you hone in on those muscles that you're working. So think about it, inner thigh, bicep, little micro bend through your standing leg. If at any point you lock out your standing leg, you've lost all engagement there. So find a little micro bend, sit a little bit lower, squeeze your quad to extend your front leg in your attitude kick. We'll alternate between an attitude lift and a bat ma while you keep your bicep going in three. Last two, last one. So inhale, lower attitude lift. Switch to a bat ma, straighten your leg, exhale lift. Inhale, lower, bend your knee. Inhale, lower, exhale lift, extend your leg. Alternate here. So every time, every other you lift, you turn your toes straight forward, you lift with the top of your quad. Then when you take your attitude lift, you turn your toes in to 45 degrees and lift through your inner thigh. All the while keeping your bicep. Woo, nice and engaged. Come on, little bend through your standing leg. Hold in your attitude, just burn out the bicep in three. Last two, last one, hold, pulse, pulse. Come into releve if you can, come on, come on. Stay in it right here. You got a little cardio burst coming your way. A pay jumps in three. Last two, last one. Bring your heels in, jump from second to first, second to first. Keep your heels in and your toes out. Squeeze your inner thighs in and together. Make this nice and quick. In and out jumps. In and out jumps. Start to spike your heart rate. And I'm gonna step, because if I keep going, I won't be talking to you anymore. You got this. Keep a bend through your knees. Think of jumping out as wide as you can to both edges of your mat. Then bring your heels in, in the center. Woo! Come on, get your heart rate up. 10 more seconds. Can you pick up the pace just a little bit more? You can stay out in second position at the end of this in five. Last four, three, two, last one. Stay out in second position. Cactus your arm to 90 degrees. Inhale second, exhale coupe. Align your left ankle and your right ankle. Inhale second, exhale coupe. Add a pec deck, inhale sit low, exhale squeeze in and tap. Inhale second, exhale in. Pec deck through your upper body, so every time you sit out in second, bring your elbow out wide, then bring your elbow straight in front of you. Inhale lower, exhale, lift and squeeze. As you start to take coupe on the back side, slice your ankles into one another. So align your left ankle with your right Achilles tendon, like they kiss every single time. And turn your knee out toward the side. Second to coupe. Find a little bend through both knees, even as you coupe. Legs are active. Woo! Come on, you guys. You got this. Hold your coupe and pec deck in the front in three. Last two. Last one, hold it in the front. Coupe to arabesque with a shoulder press. Come into releve if you can. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Coupe. Exhale, shoulder press at the top. Make it narrow. Inhale, elbow in. Exhale, press straight in front of you. Every time you coupe, bend both knees, right? So plie through both legs. Bend them both. Active legs. Press your knees out. Then as you arabesque, Kick your legs straight behind you. Keep your toes turned out to a 45 degree angle as you squeeze your glutes. Shoulder press is narrow, so let your elbow come straight out in front of you, then press up from there rather than in and out. Right, straight up. Pause your elbow at 90 degrees right in front of you. Yes, come on, good, you got it. You got it. Hold up an arabesque in three. Last two. Last one, just hold air best for a moment. Turn your toes out to 45 degrees. Kick your weight right back behind you. Soften and press through your leg and your tricep. Inhale, tiny bend. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. So small, inhale, bend. Exhale, lift. If you just squeeze and release your tricep, the rest will happen. It's so small, it's so small. Your weight will lift. Without having to swing your arm forward or back, just use your tricep to lift up. Same thing with your leg. If you just squeeze and release your glute, the rest will happen through your back body. Woo! Hinge forward and through your right leg. Come on, make your right glute do the work. You get to ditch your weight here in five. Last four. Three, two, 
One, ditch your weight. Turn toward your bar, but keep your leg behind you. Now we do standing press. So you did it seated, now we do it standing. Bend your knee, bring your shin parallel to the back side of your body, just like we did seated. Singles, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower your leg. Exhale, lift it up. Just come down a couple inches, and then a couple inches back up. The difference between pretzel and arabesque, there's not a lot, but the biggest difference to me is that you get to open your hip a little bit. Bring your weight more into your standing leg and open your hip up so you can lift from your back glute and bring your shin parallel to the back side of your body rather than extending like you do in arabesque. Squeeze your glute to lift. You've been here before seated. Now you do it standing and get to work both legs. Come on, point your toes. Stay in it for this last little bit, little micro bend through your standing leg. Wraps in three, you know what these are. Two, last one, keep it at the highest point, little wrap in, wrap. Imagine wrapping your left knee around a tree, a beach ball, something behind you, just point straight back to give you another nice little angle of what this looks like from the back side, right? Bring your knee parallel and just kick. Squeeze and press straight back, wrap your toes toward your right heel. Woo! We combo with a one inch lift, then you get to shake it up for some high knees in three. Last two, last one, lift one inch, wrap, lift, wrap, lift, wrap. Woo, mama, come on, last three. Two, last one, high knees, stay facing your chair, get your knees straight up, stretch through your glutes. You got this, you don't need to look at me to do high knees, you know exactly what they are. You can pump your arms at your sides to pick up your pace a little bit faster. You can reach your arms up overhead if you'd like more standing core work. But let this be a stretch for your glutes and hamstrings. Yes, get your knees up. The more height you find in your knees, the bigger stretch you feel. The faster the pace, the higher your heart rate, right? Just the same. Come on, 10 seconds. Go a little bit quicker. I can't see you, but I'll pretend I can. I can see you killing it for this last five, four, three, two, one, Woo! okay, high five, high five. Let's do the other side. Bring your chair to the other side of your mat. This is a little break, just cause, right? Reset yourself up. A Little different than when we have a bar to move about. Left side body to the bar. Second position, plie with the server. We've been here before. Inhale, reach, exhale, squeeze back. Inhale, reach your arm out in front, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, plie, exhale, squeeze and lift. This time your weight's in your right hand, left hand on the chair for balance. Every time you sit low in second position, press your knees right over your toes, squeeze your glutes to lift you back up. Keep a bend through your elbow, even as you reach the weight out in front of you, squeeze your bicep and then squeeze your elbow back behind you. Pinch your shoulder blades together on the back side. And you know what's to come on this side, right? We still have pretzel all the way through pretzel, right? So second, attitude, arabesque, all that good stuff. And we're done. So you know, you've done it on one side, you can do it on the other. Woo! Mid-range in three, two, last one. Just take it mid-range, reach, squeeze, reach, squeeze. Remember, if you wanna switch it, you can. Draw in, reach up at the same time, doesn't matter which. Take whichever feels more natural in your body, but don't come above mid-range. Do not straighten your legs. You're not gonna straighten your legs. Keep a bend through your knees so your quads and glutes work the whole time. Draw your elbow straight back behind you. Woo! Work your back body as well here. Come on, last three. Two. Last one, bring your weight to heart center to transition. Inhale, second position. Exhale, attitude, leg lifts. Inhale, second. Exhale, attitude. Inhale, second position, plie. Exhale, lift. For now, focus on your legs. Keep your weight at heart center. Draw your elbow out wide. Target your inner thighs. So as you step out wide, keep your heels in and toes out. As you lift and scoop through your inner thigh, fire through your outside leg. Come on, you got this, guys. Every time you step out to second position, step out just as wide, ground in through both legs. Notice if your grip on the chair is where most of your work's coming from. Use your inside leg to lift and stand up in attitude. Meet in attitude in four. Last three, two, 
Last one, hold an attitude. Bicep curl, W bicep curl. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, squeeze up. Find a little fire through your inner thigh on your lifted leg. Let it be less about your hip flexors and more about your inner thigh. So scoop your low core under. Turn your toes out or in toward 45 degrees. Like you could lift a teacup on your shin right out in front of you. Last three. Bend and extend in two. Last one. As you lift and curl, extend and bend through your legs. So keep your curl going. Bend and extend. Kick and curl in. Rather than straight up and down here, right? Keep your toes and ankle turned into 45 degrees. Woo! If you can be an arabesque or an arabesque in releve on your standing leg here too, you get a little more calf work on the inside. Come on, you got it. Fire through your bicep as you reach through the out. Yeah, friends. Hold your arabesque for just the bicep curl in three, two, Last one, hold it, burn out your bicep, last little bit. Maybe you pick up the pace a little bit for your bicep curl before we alternate with a bot ma in three. Last two, last one. So attitude lift, then bot ma, turn your toes down, kick straight forward. Attitude turn in, bot ma, kick straight forward. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Woo! As you take attitude in your thigh, as you take bot ma, target the top of your quad, point your toes. As you lift your leg up, scoop your low core under. Come on, friends. Last three. A chape jumps in two. Last one. Jump out and in. In and out. A chape, whatever fancy word you want to call it. Keep a bend through your knees. Bring your heart rate back up just a little bit as you hop your feet out and in. Fire through your outer thighs, outer glutes. If you straighten your legs, you take the work out of your quads, but maybe you can go a little faster. Come on, stay low. Bar cardio is sneaky hard, right? Sneaky hard. Ballerinas are so strong and there's a reason for that. Hold out in second position in three. Last two. Last one, hold out in second position. Heels in and toes out. Second position with a pec deck and a coupe. Inhale second, exhale coupe, pec deck. Inhale, sit low, exhale, squeeze in. Inhale second, exhale, bring it in. So your arm and leg do a similar motion here. Bring your elbow out and then straight in. Same thing with your feet, heels in, then kiss your ankles together as you draw your knee out. Every time you step out and in, move your arm and your leg together. Just like when you do anything from second up to single leg, check out back in with your hand on the chair. Use your inside leg rather than your grip on the chair to bring you up and in. Woo! Keep your elbow at 90 degrees as much as you can. Hold up and coupe in three, two, last one. Coupe to arabesque with the shoulder press. Inhale, plie, drop your elbow to 90. Exhale, extend your arm and your leg. Inhale, coupe, exhale, narrow press. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. You reach everything long as you lift on your exhale. Let your elbow stop at 90, press back up from there. Woohoo! Come on. Come on. This isn't that bad, right? The beauty of this, since you spend so much more time at home, you can do whatever you want after this. You can do whatever you want. You can sit on the couch for the rest of the day. But for now, focus on what you're doing. Let your elbows stop at 90 every time. Press straight up. Squeeze through your glute as you lift up your arabesque. Hold up an arabesque in three. Last two. Last one, hold up an arabesque. Kick your weight out behind you. Soften and press with your tricep and your leg. Inhale, tiny bend. Exhale, soften and press. Exhale, press. Inhale, soften. Exhale, press. Squeeze and release through your tricep. Squeeze and release through your glute. Tiny little micro bend through your knee. This is not a hamstring curl, right? Just soften and press. If you just squeeze your glute, your leg will do the rest on its own. Same thing with your elbow here. We're not taking full tricep kickbacks, just a teeny little press. Feel your tricep light up as you press behind you. Woo! Come on, you get to ditch the weight in five. Last four. Three, two. 
Ditch your weight, keep your leg lifted, standing pretzel, second side. Here we go, bring your shin parallel to the back side of your body. Single lifts, inhale lower two inches, exhale squeeze and lift, inhale lower, exhale lift. Come on, you've got this, you've already done it on the other leg. This is it for standing work, friends. We come to the floor after this and we don't get back up. And you've done this. This is your fourth time doing pretzel, right? You did it seated on both legs. You did it standing. Now you do it standing here. Give your right glute this last little bit of love. Use your glute to lift your leg. Remember your shins parallel to the back of your body. Just like if you were to wrap your legs into a pretzel, right? Same idea. Woo! Wraps in three. Last two. Last one, hold at the top, wrap back, back. Press back and in, back and in. To give you another visual, like so. Bring your right heel towards your left hip. Try to keep your shin parallel as much as you can as you squeeze through your glute. Come on, come on, stay in it. Last five. We combo with a one inch lift in three, two, last one. Lift, wrap, lift, wrap. Lift, wrap, Woo! here's five, four, last three, two, last one. Oh my God, high knees, high knees, get them up, get them up. Again, let it be a stretch for your back body. This is your last standing cardio burst. Get your knees up and into your chest. Pump your arms out your sides. Last time to get your heart rate high while you're up on your feet. Come on, dig deep, dig deep. Last little bit here for eight. Flex your toes, hug your core in tight as you bring your knees up. Here's five, four, three, two, last one. Oh, step out to star pose. As you inhale, reach up nice and big. Exhale, second position, plie, sit low. Just bring your breath back, inhale, star. Exhale, second position. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, lunge toward your chair. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower all the way to your belly. Supermans, we'll work the back body just a little bit more. Practice your elbows, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift everything, inhale, lower down. Exhale, squeeze and lift up. Well, I'm looking at you, but you keep your gaze straight down toward the floor. Pinch your shoulder blades together on the back side as you draw your elbows back behind you. Press your hips down into the floor to lift you up. Think about your back muscles and the spine strength that you build here. Every time you lift, think of lengthening also. Again, keep your gaze straight down toward the floor so you have space in the back of your neck. Woo! Holding up for swimmers in three, two. Last one, hold it up. Swimmers, just flutter your arms and your legs. Keep your back body nice and strong. Gaze long. Come on, pinch your shoulder blades together. Here's five. Back to Superman's in three, two, Superman, inhale lower, exhale lift, inhale down, exhale squeeze up. We'll add on, just bring your back muscles back into the game. Superman to high plank in three. Last two, last one, Superman, tuck your toes, high plank. Exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower. Stack your shoulders right over your wrist and tuck your toes. Hug your core in tight every time you press up to plank. Keep your belly engaged. Gaze nice and long, still right out in front of you. No need to look at me, keep it up. You take a Superman, you press up to plank pose. These are the worst, the worst burpees coming your way. I know you can do it though. This is the last little bit of work. Add in a little half burpee in three, two, one. So Superman, tuck your toes, half burpee, hop back, lower down. Superman, high plank, half burpee, hop back. Come on, come on. Three part movement right here, lower. Lift, lower, tuck and jump. Woo! Five, come on, don't quit now. Last four, three, two, high plank, stay and breathe, stay and breathe. Don't drop now, stay right here with me. Stack your shoulders over your wrists, hug your belly button into your spine, stay for five, four, three, two, down dog. Woo! Holy. Freaking cats, come on. Stay for a breath in and down dog. Let it go. One more, inhale, fill up. Exhale, side out. 
because you so deserve this after all that freaking pretzel work. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, half pigeon. Breathe, bring your right knee to your right wrist crease, slide your left toes back. Trying to stretch through your right glute and hamstring. I mean, half pigeon always feels good, right? But especially after pretzel. Let it be restorative now. Let your upper body start to fold forward if it feels right for you. Let your breath start to slow down, feel a stretch and a relaxation through your upper body. All the hard work soaking in. I know when I do these workouts at home, it's so easy to take so many more breaks than I would in person with all the people around me. But know that even if you did take some breaks today, you still got plenty of work in. You still took this time for your body to get stronger even when you probably didn't feel like it. Tuck your toes behind you, press back up to your palms, inhale, three-legged dog. Kick your leg behind you, find some movement, bend, twist, and open. Stack one hip on top of the other, stretch through your hip flexors. And then come back to down dog. Take the other side, inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, half pigeon. Other side, bring your left knee to your left wrist crease. Extend your right leg long behind you, spider tip your fingers up. And then exhale, come to your forearms if you like. If you have books or blocks at home, you can take those underneath your forearms or forehead and start to slow your breath. I know we don't get to see each other every day anymore, but it feels so good to be virtually connecting with you all. Know that this Power Life Live experience is just as important to us. We need it just as much as you do. Start to tuck your toes. Once again, press back up to your palms. Inhale, three-legged dog, kick your leg high again. Find some movement on this side, roll it out. Wiggle your toes, roll out your ankle. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Drop to your knees, swing your legs out in front of you. Set up for seated forward fold. Flex your toes back, ground in through your sits bones. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, fold toward your toes. Stay and breathe. Wherever your hands fall on your body is just fine. You can find a little rock side to side. Stretch through your low back. Lots of glute work usually means lots of low back work as well. So I like to rock side to side. Bend your knees as much as you need to feel the release through your low back. Take an exhale here. Inhale, slowly roll back up. Take seated figure four. Cross your right ankle over your left knee. It's a quick one. We already did half pigeon. But I want to take this into a seated twist. So take a few rocks side to side here and then take a breath in. And let your legs fall to your left side. Seated twist, inhale. Reach your left arm high. Exhale, twist towards your right. You can connect your left elbow or forearm with your right leg. Sit up nice and tall through the crown of your head. Keep your sits bones connected with the earth. Just take a couple breaths. Take an exhale here. Inhale, come back to center. Switch sides, figure four for a quick, quick stretch. Left ankle over your right knee. Walk your shoulders down away from your ears. Take one more breath in here. Then let your legs fall over to your right side. You can connect your left foot with the floor. Inhale, reach up, right arm. Exhale, seated twist. You can connect your left fingertips to the floor just for a little bit more leverage to deepen this twist. Take an exhale. Come back to center, unwind your legs. Extend them out in front of you. Come all the way onto your back, just the way we started in happy baby pose. You can bring your hands to your feet, shins, ankles. I like them right on my ankles or calves. And then caress your feet toward the ceiling as you rock side to side. And just take this one last moment to soak in all this hard work 
that you've done for your body this time you've taken for you on your mat. Take one more breath in. Exhale, Shavasana. Let it go. Let your arms and legs relax down by your sides. Walk your shoulders down away from your ears. And take these last couple moments just to soak in whatever you need. I'll guide you out. Slowly take a deep breath in and sigh it out. Find some movement in your fingers and your toes, your wrists and your ankles. And as you inhale, stretch your arms high, long body stretch from fingers to toes, fine length. Exhale, roll through your right side, come up to a comfortable seat. Take your time. As you inhale, stretch your arms high. Exhale, hands to heart center. Thank you so, so much for coming to your mat today, showing up even when it's virtually. The light in me sees and honors the light in each and every one of you. Namaste. Yay! Great job, friends. Thanks so much for showing up for you, for us on your mat. Um, keep checking out Power Life Live for more workouts. Again, my name's Abby. Let me know what you thought of class and have a great rest of your day. We'll see you soon.